Changes for Lenore County's landfill are on the way as the department looks to raise rates for customers. Nine on your side's Dominique Moody joins us now in the newsroom with more on the rates. Dominique, how much of an impact will this have on the county and the landfill? Angie, eight years, that's the last time the landfill raised their rates, and the call for the change is urgent, as many of the structures are starting to fall apart. But county leaders and the landfill directors say the increase is needed. Nobody likes raises, nobody likes fees to go up, but it's, there's just no other way. We just can't figure a way to do it. Change isn't easy, but sometimes it's necessary. For the Lenore County landfill, it's a long time coming. So we have several projects that we're behind on and projects that cost a lot of money. We'll be able to get our nine sites and get them cleaned up and get them better fit where people can get to them. Hal Oliver is the director of the county's landfill, so he knows what's needed for the junkyard to be sufficient. We have to be self-sustained, so everything we do, we have to keep up. And if we don't keep up and do not be able to establish our enterprise, we will have to go to the commissioners and ask for another another way to get it. And with the self-sustained enterprise, funding isn't easy. Right now, these are the current rates, with asbestos leading the way at $60. But in just a few months, that number is set to peak to $75, while other categories like construction and demolition will rise $6. But why the increase? If we don't do that, then the county would have to supplement it out of the general fund. County Commissioner Reuben Davis says the needed changes are moderate, but necessary. We want to uh, maintain a certain level of efficiency, and this is what it's probably going to take to do that. By having good equipment, you can put a lot more stuff in the landfill without having to uh, extend it or, or relocate. Oliver agrees. I'm hoping it'll be for fair for everybody, and that's just, that's just the way it is. Now, the rate increase won't go into effect until July 1st. Until then, Oliver says he's hopeful that those in the community can make accommodations for the inflation. Dominic Moody, 9 on your side.